Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing rational expressions. All right, just some expression, rational expression basics. We say that a rational expression is in simplified form if the rational expression um, has a numerator and denominator with no common factors other than one. So we take an example. If I say I have a rational expression x times x plus 3 over x plus 3, this is not a simplified rational expression because I have a common factor of x plus 3 and x plus 3 um, that have not been reduced to 1. So if I wanted to simplify this expression, I would reduce x plus 3 over x plus 3 to 1. And now we get x times 1 or x. So x would be the simplified form of this rational expression because both the numerator and the denominator, in this case it would just be x over 1, have no common factors other than 1. Alright, let's talk about uh, multiplying rational expressions and I'm going to give you a property and then an example. So the property that we'll use in multiplying rational expressions is that a over b times c over d is equal to a times c over b times d, where b and d cannot be equal to zero. b and d can't be equal to zero because if either one of them is zero, then b times d is equal to zero. And we've talked about uh, the fact that if we have a zero in the denominator, in terms of our math language, we don't really know what it means to divide a value by zero. So we say this is undefined. All right, so we don't want to have a denominator uh, with a zero, a value of zero. Uh, so b and d cannot be equal to zero. And I'll give you an example of the multiplication property. If I have 7 over 5 times 3 over 2, that's equal to 7 times 3 over 5 times 2, which is equal to 21 over 10. Now I go back to my uh, original slide, which said that simplified form of a rational expression has no common factors in the numerator and denominator. And if I take a look at the factors of 21 and the factors of 10, I have no common factors. So 21 over 10 is my final result. Right, second property we're going to talk about is dividing uh, the division property for rational expressions. When I divide rational expressions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reciprocal of the second expression and then I'm going to multiply it by the first. So the property says that if I have a over b divided by c over d, that's the same as a over b times the reciprocal of c over d or times d over c. And then I use the multiplication property, so that ends up the result would be the product of a times d over the product of b times c. And I give you an example here again. I have 2 over 7 divided by 3 over 9. So I take the reciprocal of the second expression, and that just means flipping the numerator to denominator and the denominator to the numerator, and then multiplying that the reciprocal of the second expression. So I have now 2 over 7 times 9 over 3. And that is equal to 18 over 21. Now this is not in simplified form because I still have a common factor for 18 and 21. And that common factor is 3. So I divide both the numerator and denominator by 3, and I end up with 6 over 7 as my final result in simplified form. Now, 18 over 21 is a correct answer, but it's not in simplified form. So if you were my student, I would give you partial credit but not full credit because it's not in simplified form. All right, so simplifying rational expressions. First thing you want to do, I'm going to take two steps generally. We talked about what uh, simplified form is. You're going to factor the numerator and denominator. So I factor the numerator first, and I have x minus x minus 5. Let's rewrite that. x minus 5 times x plus 3. So you can go back to factoring quadratics that's another lesson that I have. You can use a diamond and box process, but most of you by now can uh, 
factor a quadratic in your head, and that's what I've done here. x minus 5 times x plus 3, those are the two factors uh, of that quadratic. And then I can factor, I have the difference of two squares here, x squared minus 9 is equivalent to x minus 3 times x plus 3. So I'm going to factor both the numerator and denominator. That's step number one, and unless it's already factored for you, and then you just move on to step number two. So now I'm going to, step number two is to reduce the common factors that are common in both the numerator and denominator, and I'm going to reduce those to one. So I see that x plus 3 is a common factor. I'm going to reduce those to one. So x plus 3 over x plus 3 becomes just one. And I'm left with x minus 5 over x minus 3. I have no other common factors in x minus 5 and x minus 3. So this would be my final result. All right, so that's it for the lesson. Why don't you come and join me for a set of practice problems revolving, revolving around multiplying and dividing rational expressions to learn a little bit more and see how we can use the multiplication and division property to simplify uh, rational expressions.